Hey, Felipe here from cajonmaster.com. I hope everybody is doing well. If you like reviews like this one, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Today I'm doing a review and sound test of a different kind of cajon. It's the Mino Three Tone Cajon by Mino Viva Rhythm. It's a different kind because it has three different sounds in the front plate. So without further ado, let's check the minor website to see the specifications. According to the website, this cajon has three different sounds in the tapa or front plate. Snare cajon in the left side with one internal snare wire. Bongo cajon in the right side. and Peruvian cajon from the middle to the lower part of the front plate. Snare cajon sounds, along with bongo cajon and traditional Peruvian style cajon, are all represented in the minor viva rhythm, three-tone cajon. Each playing surface is defined by a different sound option to give players the ultimate cajon experience. Let's see. The body of the cajon is made of Baltic birch, similar to other snare cajons from mine. And the front plate has the stripped onyx finish. The size of this cajon is a kind of the standard size. 50 cm high by 30 cm depth by 30 cm width. This cajon costs $129 in the US and €129 Euros in Europe. As always, I have included links with more info in the description below. So, the most important now, let's see how it sounds. I'm recording this review with four microphones, the ones I normally use, the Shure SM57 in the front plate, the Shure Beta 52 in the back, and for the room, I'm using a pair of Behringer C2 overheads. Now I'm going to improvise a bit for you to hear how it sounds.
This is very nice to play. It's interesting because you have these three very different sounds and completely separated. Actually, this is a percussion instrument in a cajon body. And if you listen back to what I just played with the eyes closed, you hear three different instruments played at the same time. Let's start with the bongo sound in the right side. It's very crispy and controlled. The snare in the left side is cool, dry, and the single snare wire does the job well. The lower part, described as a Peruvian sound, is nice, but I miss a bit of bass on it. I think the position of this area from the middle to, to the low end of the tapa is the downside for me, because it's a bit too low and sometimes I need to bend over to get the bass sound. In my opinion, it would be very cool if this area had at least five centimeters more in the upper part of the tapa. It would give more bass and also would be better for the posture. I really think this is a great instrument for cajon players who want to expand their possibilities, adding different sounds and colors. And the price is good. I think 129 euros or 129 dollars, it's very good. As I said, it's nice to play and I'm going to explore it more. If you like this cajon and you want to buy it, you can use the links I have included in the description below. Please leave your comment below with your opinions about this cajon and other cajons. It's very important for me to know your opinion. And if you want to start playing the cajon, you can check out my free cajon starter course at cajonmaster.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new videos. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time with another video. Take care.